about 31, last example in section 2.3. So we have a game room has a perimeter of 70 feet. The length is five more than twice the width. How many square feet of new carpeting should be ordered? All right, so we're gonna assume we have a rectangular room again. And like I mentioned in example four, typically with rectangles, you have four, four quantities we keep track of, length, width, perimeter, and area. So let's see which ones we're, we're playing around with here. I'm gonna draw a picture just so I have a rectangle, a visual. All right, and similar to the last problem, I'm gonna put L and W here. So it says a game room has a perimeter of 70 feet. So we, we talked about this in example four, when you use perimeter, it's always 2L plus 2W is equal to 70. All right, I'll keep that in mind. And it says the length is five more than twice the width. Okay, so the length is five more than twice the width. And when we talk about math operations, right, with this more and twice, we've got addition, subtraction, ooh, that is a, supposed to be a comma? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So the more indicates addition, the twice, again, multiplication. All right, great. So the length is five more than twice the width. That's great. So with that, I can see that with these two equations, I can solve for the length and width. And that's, that's awesome, I'm going to do that. But I also wanna remind us that when we're done, we still need to answer the question asked of us. So I still wanna talk about how many square feet of new carpeting should be ordered. But let me find the length and the width. And this has the same mechanics as example four, right? I'm gonna plug the length into here. So instead of two L, I'm gonna write two times five plus two W. That should, be, oops, I was gonna say that should be equal to 70, but you see me forgetting, right? We have 2L plus 2W should be equal to 70. And it's just that instead of L, I'm writing 5 plus 2W. All right, let me simplify the left side of this equation. So we have 10 plus 4W plus 2W is equal to 70. I think I'm looking at 6W, oops, plus 10, excuse me, equaling 70. I'm gonna just simplify this a little bit over here. So I see 6w equaling 60. I would subtract the 10 over. I'm now gonna divide both sides by six and I'm gonna get w is equal to 10. And in this case, it's 10 feet, right? In the last example, we had centimeters. This is a larger rectangle because we're talking about a room, right? A room's a pretty, pretty big um, space uh, and we, we usually measure a room in feet. So I've got the width, but I still need the length. So let's go figure out what the length is equal to. It is five plus two W. So five plus two times 10 would be 25 feet. So at this point, I know the length is 25 feet and the width is 10 feet. Okay, great. So taking a look at that as I work through this, it says how many square feet of carpet should be ordered. Now when we talk about feet squared, take note that we have a superscript of two. When we have a superscript of two or the dimensions are two, we're talking about the area, all right? So anytime you're talking about square dimensions, we wanna talk about area. And the area formula for a rectangle is length times width. And I just wanna show you, I'll play out the units in just a moment so you can see the square feet pop up. We knew the length was 25 feet, and we knew the width was 10 feet. Oops. Now, feet times feet will give you feet squared. That's how the units interact with each other, and 25 times 10 is 250. So I have 250 square feet of area our square feet of carpeting, excuse me, that should be ordered. So let's just write up here that 250 square feet 
of new carpeting should be ordered. So to contrast this, or I should say, let's compare it with example four. They both involved rectangles and we were keeping track of length, width, perimeter. This one, example five added that area component onto it. So it was slightly different than example five. In example four, we just wanted the dimensions, length and width. Here they wanted you to go a little bit further and get the area. And just to show you what we could have done, I know they didn't ask for the area in example four, but if I scooch this back up, if they had asked me for the area in example four, I would have just taken 18 and I would have multiplied it by 37 and said the area, ooh, that's ominous, was 666 centimeters squared or square centimeters. All right, so with that, that, that ends our look at some word problems for linear, um, with linear modeling. I'll see you in a few, bye.